Hello guys and welcome back to modding the vanilla Minecraft with M Creator series. Today what we're going to be looking at is the block states and how to customize that after you export your mod and set up your block models. And we're going to be covering two main things. We're going to be covering weight, Y rotation, and X rotation. All the information can be found on the models.wiki page for Minecraft, so Minecraft Gamepedia. And just if you scroll a little bit down, there is a section called block states. It gives you the exact same layout that you need for all the different settings. If you don't need specific settings, you don't have to use them, but you can add on to them if you want. Now, the Y axis is the one that goes northeast, southwest. The X axis is the one that basically rotates on a X rotation. So for example, a X is basically going to rotate from the side to up and then down or to the other side and then down. And then the Y is just going to rotate it uh, northeast, southwest. So that's the difference between these two. You can use them in combination together and you can switch the rotation of what direction the X is actually rotating on. So you can use that as well. Weight basically allows probability for the block to be spawning. Now this is handy if you're making resource packs and stuff like that that allow you to, you want to basically randomize specific feature, maybe you have a bookcase that you have textured kind of like with a lot of red books. You can have that as a weight of a lower level and then you could have maybe a more prominent green or blue or something like that. That has to do with the weight. I'll explain that a little bit later. In the sense, it calculates the overall uh, point system and then it will try to divide that up into a hundred percent so the best thing to do is when you're working with numbers with weight is to go from a 200 or 100 scale and then just basically kind of calculate what percentage from that so for example 200 percent and if you do 50 then it's a 25 percent because it's 200 percent so you divide that by 100 it's actually 50 so that's the best way i can explain it now that we have that in place uh what we need to do is actually set up some stuff for the block example so I have our little model for our oak leaves all set up we're gonna make some changes to it obviously the first thing that we have is our main setting which is called variance and as you can see on the Minecraft wiki variance is right here so anything under that which would be these things right here that we'll be using so we can use X rotation, Y rotation, and we can also use in our model itself uh, the X and Y as well as weight. So we'll be doing that. If you want to set up multiple rotations, what you need to do is the first thing that you need to do is we're after the colon sign right here. What you need to do is add a square bracket that is facing inwards uh, to the right side, and then you want to just hit a tab or enter button until it gets to the next line. And then what you want to do is on the other side of this bracket, what you want to do is hit enter again and do a closing bracket. What this will do is it will make a group for multiple models and you can basically add as many as these lines as you want uh, and customize the settings and stuff, which will be handy for what we're going to be doing next. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to leave this setting as the default. Now I'm going to explain what it's doing. This is testing or basically saying, okay, we need to call a model and then it's going to be looking in the models slash blocks folder. And then it's going to be getting the file called Oak Leaves. We need to basically use the same model that we created, but rather than have to make a bunch of different rotations in our model, what we can do is we can just rotate it using X and Z variables. So we can basically do that by going and just copying and pasting this line right here. We'll add a comma at the end of that one because it's now, it's now continuing the code. And what we need to do is just add a comma inside the second one. And what we're going to do is we're going to go Y and then actually Y needs to be in double quotations. So Y colon, and then for our value of y, what we need to do is set it on a interval of 90. So 90, 180, and 270 are values that this x and z, 
x and y can actually accept. So our first one's gonna be 90, and then what we're going to do is just copy this line now, and we're gonna put a comma here, and then we're gonna paste it, and we're gonna do it one more time, just so we have a good amount of rotations for every rotation. So we're gonna do 180 and 270. So that will be our values. And we also might want to adjust the Y rotation. So now that we have all these set up, we have our North, East, South, West, all these are sitting on our normal default state for the basically it facing the downside. Uh, we also want to set it up for the upside as well. So we're gonna copy all this up to this bracket right here. And then we're gonna put a comma right there. And then we're gonna paste that down. And rather than have to set up too much, what we're going to do is we're going to call a variable. We're just gonna put a com comma right here. And then we're gonna to go to search and replace. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the block file name and we're gonna paste that into the get part. And then we're gonna paste that again into the same part. So we're going to go double to quotation and then we're gonna go X colon and then what we want to do is we want to set our value. We're just gonna set it to zero for now. Actually, we could set this to 90. Uh, yeah, 90 will probably, no, we want it 180, pardon me. So 180, and then we're gonna go comma and a space after that. So what we're basically doing is we're going to insert X colon 180 and comma. And then what we're gonna do before we do anything is we're going to select as well and we can select in selection. And then it's just gonna insert the code right here. Now, you might have some issues where there's an extra space. Sometimes that might happen. You can just delete one space here and it'll be properly set up. So now that we have our code all set up, we have a upside down rotation for X, Y, and Z for Northeast, Southwest, as well as our proper side up which is just our first four models right here. The other thing that I wanted to cover was weight. Now, this is a little bit different. Like I said, it goes on a scale of 100%. Any values that you basically set up for your weight is going to be calculated out of 100%. So weight comes after X and Y, and weight is calculated to be out of 100%. So any values that you have in your model will be calculated out 100%. To set this up, we just need to actually add the, the value to our weight of our particular model that we want to set up. So we can do this by doing a comma after the Y or X, depending on what value you have. And then you wanna do double quotation, and then you want to do weight, and then colon, and then what you want to do is set up your percent. So percent is basically out of 100. So if we go with, so if we go with like 12, then that'll be close to basically 100% for each one of these because we have eight entries. So if we go with 12.5, which I don't know if you can use point form, I've only seen like solid numbers. So you might be able to go with point form. If it's still too much though, and you need a point form, say it's like 12.5, what you can do is actually increase the total weight to 200 and then divide that by what you need. And that would bring us to 25 for this value here. And we can just basically do the exact same thing up to this point for all our values. And what this will do is it will set our weight for the actual overall model to be the same as it currently is because what it's doing when it's actually like this is it's going to be just basically setting it up so it's the same amount of percent chance of what it can be but if we assign the weight then we can also offset that that chance so that's basically what weight does and what we're doing right now is we've increased it to 200 percent but we're also testing if it's only 25 in value so 25 would still be the same value as it was before all right, so now that we got our model all set up, we're just going to quickly go over and make sure that all our brackets are and our commas are in place. And we have added comma here, that's all good. And we have added commas there, that's good too. No commas should be at here, nor should there be a dot, so that's good. And I'm not seeing any other commas outside of what's down here, that's good, as well as this part right here, and it doesn't need a comma. 
and none of these last values need commas as well. So we're good to go. What we can do now is just save this model and it's already in a folder that we have called Minecraft and it's under block state. So what we can do now is we have our jar under basically our main folder and we can just open this up with no uh 7-zip so open archive and then what we're going to do is go to assets and we should have our files all set up here we might even have the models already in place no we do not so most likely they're in our models folder we're just going to double check that yes they are Perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back until we get to the Minecraft folder where it's right here where we created it, where our namespace for our demo is as well, or our mod name. And we're just gonna drag that into this folder right here and it's gonna add the files as well. So that's assuming that you have the proper layout for your mod structure for the Minecraft namespace. And as you can see, we've already done that. So uh, one thing that you might want to just double check is any errors like this, uh, this might need to be double checked in the actual jar itself where I'm just, I just noticed that there's block state and block state. So let's quickly double check to make sure that there is the proper one. Uh, it's block states. So I had a typo on this. So we want to just delete this and we're just gonna rename this as with an S. So rename and put an S here and then we should be good to go. So let's test our mod out and I'm going to just quickly open up a Minecraft with our mod and we'll take a look at it. All right, so we're in game and I just tested the thing. There was a couple errors. I noticed that the models had a dot character in one of the parts. So I just removed that and everything started to work, but uh, it must've happened when I was actually stopping the recording, but yeah, as you can see, it all works out. It's rotated randomly based on the actual model state. So if we were to pick this up and we were to go over here, uh, one rotation, a different rotation, there's completely different rotations on every block. And if we remove it and place it back again, as you can see, it will stay in that same form. So hopefully you guys uh, found this tutorial series useful if you want to see more on actually doing resource packs I can do a kind of like a mini series on you know the folder structure and how to do basic editing and stuff for resource packs if you guys are interested and uh, outside of that thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time peace out